Hi guys, how's it going? I've just got back from the supermarket, I've been hitting the sales hard and I'm hungry, so let's see what we can make with the ingredients I managed to get, okay? Let's have a look. Right, basically, I managed to get some turkey breast. Now this was on offer, it's normally quite pricey, and you normally only have turkey at Christmas, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna have some turkey breast. I'm gonna cook that up, and wrap it up in some bacon. What also was on offer was some Swede. Um, and I've never cooked a Swede before, but um, apparently I could make a mashed potato out of it if I mix it up with potatoes. So I'm gonna try and, I think you gotta peel this thing, right? And then we're gonna boil it all up in the, in the pan with a mash and mash it together with some cream. Um, I've also got some brown sugar and some wine left over that I'm gonna just sort of muddle around with. Some asparagus for some presentation. And I've got these bacon lardons. They were, they were on sale as well. And I think they're called bacon lardons because like, they've got lard on them. So look at that, look at that fat. Ugh. That's fat cam right there. Anyway, um, got an onion as well, which I'll probably grate that up. So what we're probably gonna do is try and make some funky sauce with the onions and that. And then wrap the turkey in the bacon and I have some mash alongside it. And uh, yeah, if, if it all fails, I can always go to McDonald's, right? So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, peel my onion and my potatoes, cut them up and also hack into that sweet and see what we can do with it. Okay, and then uh, we can start to get going. Okay. Okay then guys, I put my pan on to boil for the water and I'm just gonna get my swede. And here we go. Here is the peeler. Well, uh, there we go. Take the skin off it and then cut it into chunks. I think that's what we're gonna do. Kind of weird looking things, these sweet things. They look like uh, like weird brains or like a, an overgrown turnip. I don't know. If someone wants to tell me like a bit more about a sweet, like send me a message and you know we'll take it from there. There you go then guys, look at that, a bold sweet. So what I'm gonna do now is grab a huge knife and then cut chunks out of it, alright? Good times! Okay guys, I've just cut it in half and that took me about 10 minutes. These things are hardcore. If you're gonna do this, you need to mentally prepare yourself. You know, this is not an easy task to cut a swede. This thing is butch, okay? So, I managed to cut it in half and then cut a little chunk out like that. So it kind of looks like a little Pac-Man there, there you go. And there's my little piece there. Only problem is, I just need to keep cutting up this bit and then chuck it in the pan with the potatoes. So, uh, I'm gonna keep going, okay? There we go then guys, it doesn't need to be cut perfectly, and in fact even from a funny angle it looks kind of like cheese cut up. But I've got my pan of potatoes out on the heat, chuck them in there, um, and all I'm going to do is chuck the sweet in there with it. Like so. Try not to splash myself and get them burnt, okay? Right here then people, while the sweet and the potato is cooking away, it's going to be about 15 minutes for it to all soften up I think. Um, we're going to grab our turkey breast like this, and then add the bacon around it. So all we've got to do is wrap it. Obviously, um, I'm doing this with one hand just to show you at the moment, but you can use two. Um, two hands does help, by the way, people. Um, so, just sit your bacon there, and then maybe put it there, like that, and then wrap it, like so, all the way around it. And as you can see, I need to do another half that end. So what I'll do is two pieces of bacon to every bit of turkey. Now that bit is a well big bit of turkey there, so I might need to use three. So I'll do that, and then what we'll do is we'll transfer it to a griddle pan. So we've got some olive oil in there, you can just about see it, it's camouflaged. That's on the heat there, it's going to be there two minutes each side, flip it over and then we'll shove it in the baking tray there in the oven to cook right through. Um, and also I think we'll sprinkle some herbs in with that as well to give it a bit of a flavour and some salt and pepper, a bit of a bit of a pizzazz, a bit of a kick, okay? So, woo, let's go, yeah? Okay. Right, there we go then guys, as you can see I put some herbs on there as well. So, grab your turkey and then plonk it on the griddle pan like that, okay? So move all four onto there. And in the meanwhile, I've got another pan on with some oil in it, and I'm going to cook up my onions now. Right here then guys, it's only been two minutes, so I'm going to just flip them over. Already. Right here, so they're looking good, all flipped over. Only been another two minutes, so in that time, I'm going to get my onions and chuck them in the other pan. And uh, chuck the lardons in there as well, alright? These things. There we go. So stir that in for about, about five minutes so it's all brown and all cooked through. And then we're chucking the sugar and the wine. Woo! Okay then guys, the turkey has finished being cooked on the griddle. See, it's gone. Like magic, see? And it's here on the baking tray. So it's just there chilling out, sunbathing. The swede and the potatoes are still cooking away, doing good. 
and the onions and the lardons were brown and cooked. So what I did was shove in two tablespoons of red wine and a tablespoon of brown sugar, okay? There's the brown sugar for evidence and the wine, okay? And what the red wine should do is give it a nice kick and a flavor, um, but the, hopefully the alcohol should burn off. It should all just disappear. Um, but if it doesn't, um, I'm gonna get drunk. So it's a win-win situation. The other thing I'm gonna do is put my asparagus on the grill just to cook alongside it. And then these things are gonna go in the oven for about 10 minutes just to cook it all through nice and cool um, in about five minutes time. I'm gonna mash the potatoes all together, chuck in the cream of it, season it, and then we can eat. <sighs> right here then guys, I've just seasoned the turkey with some more herbs, it's all in there. Shove that in the oven, 10 minutes. We'll turn it around halfway through so it cooks all the way through, and we'll need it there. Okay then guys, just drained off my potatoes and my swedes, it's nice and soft. Just season it with a bit of salt and pepper so you can just about see that. I transferred it to a plastic bowl. And here is about a tablespoon of cream going in there as well with it. And what we do now is get our friend the masher and start going crazy on it, okay? So mash it all together. Right here then guys, the mashed potato is done, it's plonked on the plate. The asparagus is done, so I'm gonna get that out. The sauce is just finished as well, so that's just chilling. It's time to get it all out of the oven, merge it all together, okay? Ooh. Okay, so first thing is my asparagus. I've got it off the grill, look how floppy that is. Ooh. Ooh, see that? Dangly dangly. So what I'm going to do is just like spread it across the mashed potato like that. Like so. And then chuck some sauce on it, get the turkey out, and boom. Right ho, just got it out of the oven, and it smells really good. So, um, nice and juicy as well, succulent. Mmm. So what we're going to do is chuck that onto the plates. Good times. There we go then guys, that's proper chef stuff there. And here's my sauce. Let's give that a little bit of a try with the wine. Mmm. Oh, it's really sweet, nice kick to that. Wow, so all we're gonna do now is transfer that on top of that. And then we can eat while I already am, but hey ho. Okay then guys, let's have a look. There we go, extreme close up. Now I don't know about you, but that looks blooming good to me. And considering that only took me just over 20 minutes, I am dead chuffed with how that's turned out. And if I can do that, trust me, absolutely anyone in the world can. I, and back in December, I could only boil an egg, just. So um, have a go yourself, maybe let me know how you get on, and I'll see you next time.